Okay, my check, one, two, three. We're live here at Ramsey High School tonight. Shays Valley is about to lose tonight to the Ramsey Rams. Production of Birmingham City Schools and BCS Media. Birmingham City Schools, your best choice in education.
you're watching BCS Under the Lights, a production of Birmingham City Schools and BCS Media. Birmingham City Schools, your best choice in education. You have choices in Birmingham City Schools, learning academies and outstanding teachers, championship sports teams, fine arts, music, science, technology, and engineering, Go to BirminghamCitySchools.org and enroll today. Birmingham City Schools, success starts here. What's up, everybody? It's Letitia Watkins, Miss Letitia, your District 6 representative for Birmingham City School Board. District 6, home of the Ramsey Rams. So on behalf of everybody on the Hill, welcome to BCS Under the Lights. BCS. 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 Birmingham, this is BCS Under the Lights, Volleyball Edition coming to you live from Ramsey High School as the Ramsey Rams take on the Shades Valley Mountains. I'm Steve Brown, your host, along with my co-host Robert Bradford. What's up, Steve? What's up, my brother? How are you today? Doing well, doing well. Absolutely you, glad you to made, be here. You made me a little nervous. Oh, man. You, well, you know, we're going to always... Uh, keep it interesting. We have a special guest in with us tonight, bringing us some technical support. None other than Miss Deborah Story. How you doing, Miss Story? I'm good this afternoon. How are you? Absolutely great. Welcome to BCS Under the Light, and we are in for a great volleyball game tonight. What do you say about that? It's gonna be awesome. Absolutely, Robert. We got two great teams uh, uh, traditionally as well. Tell us a little bit about how they're looking this season. Well, uh, Shade Valley comes in with a record of 10 and 14. Ramsey with 12 and 14. They played one time earlier at Sage Valley. Ramsey came out on top and a little uh, added to this that uh, Ramsey just won the city tournament. So congratulations to the Rams on, on their championship in the city tournament. And uh, talked to uh, the coach earlier and she said that uh, they had won the regular season uh, area championship for Ramsey, so things looking up for Ramsey. Absolutely, Coach Story. I imagine you may have a couple players out here, if not on one, maybe both of these teams. Well, actually, I have three on Ramsey team. I have two that is on Shades Valley Mountains team, but they are they play for junior varsity. They are not on the senior varsity team, but I have three at Ramsey. Very good. Well. You know, Rams, as we said earlier, has a great volleyball tradition, Robert. I started to wear uh, my baseball letterman's jacket <laughs> since we were in the system tonight and we wouldn't be competing. But one of the great players uh, at Rams, and we're going to go to a spot on uh, Edwina Arnold, who is a former player here at Rams, who actually filled in for us last week at a broadcast. Guys, take it away with the story on Edwina Anthony Arnold. Forty years later, Birmingham native Edwina Arnold returned to Ramsey High School, the school she says made her who she is today. How does it feel to be back here at Ramsey High School? It feels absolutely phenomenal, Fred. As Edwina and I walked down the halls of Ramsey High School, she said not much had changed. She began to reminisce. There are beautiful memories here. I get so excited when I look around and I see particularly the posters of the Lady Rams volleyball team. Before graduating from Ramsey in 1982, it's been a minute. Edwina competed in volleyball, color guard, and marched in the band. Colleges became interested in Edwina while she was in the 11th grade. Her talent on the volleyball court, impeccable. I was being recruited by a few universities, Mississippi State, Florida State, Boston College, Montevallo, a few other schools. 
However, I selected Mississippi State. Her success continued as a lady bulldog, helping the volleyball team secure big wins after graduating from Mississippi State. Edwina joined the U.S. Army as a second lieutenant. My very first duty station was in the Republic of Korea. Yes, ironically, oh gosh, Fred, it was magnificent. During Edwina's time in the military, she competed in the all army volleyball team. And it was on from there. I had an opportunity to actually lead the all army team. I was selected captain while I was actually a captain in the armed forces at the time. Talk about how Ramsey prepared you for your future. I have to say that Ramsey played a very critical role in my life. Ramsey helped me establish a solid baseline. The coaches, more specifically, Rose Farella. She was my volleyball coach. Not only was she a coach, she was a mentor. Edwina urges all students to get involved and take advantage of opportunities at your school. Edwina is living out her retirement in Miami. She retired as a colonel after serving 23 years in the military. Edwina is working right now to get her second master's degree in social work from Howard University. I'm Fred Davenport with BCS Media. Robert, it reminds me seeing those kids of when we were in high school, we would have a two o'clock game. Wow. And uh, you can it's imagine how the, how the school would be rocking. Now, we didn't have football at that time, so volleyball was our fall homecoming sport. But we certainly got it up in this gym for the Lady Rams. But Robert, and Wiener Arnold is one of those outstanding players uh, that Ramsey has had over the years. And as we saw her career took her to Mississippi State, to the Army. Uh, and as we say in BCS, star here, go anywhere. That's right. That's right, Steve. Another impressive program at Ramsey is their engineering academy. It's another one of those programs that gives students a first-hand experience so that they have a leg up on the industry. Absolutely. I believe we have that queued up, Robert. Uh, let's go down to the guys now and look at our feature on the Ramsey Engineering Academy. Take it away, guys. Here at Ramsey IB High School in Birmingham, the school's Academy of Engineering is top notch and is attracting the interest of the students. I plan to go to college and major in aerospace engineering or mechanical engineering. Pretty sure that I want to be a civil engineer. It's still up in the air. After high school, I plan on being a software engineer focusing on nanotechnology. These students are dreaming big and the academy is helping their dreams become a reality. The most inspiring thing about this academy is that it's specifically for people who want to make a difference in the world. Um, it focuses on a lot of different disciplines in engineering. The Academy of Engineering, it gives me opportunities at a younger age instead of just waiting until college. Most people, they don't have this opportunity to work with other companies and do hands-on activities that we do in class. Those hands-on projects include building electronic circuits and 3D modeling and design. We provide opportunities for our seniors to have internships and we also like to expose them to things outside of our building, I'm taking them on various uh, college tours, site visits, so that they have an opportunity to see what those fields entail. Jakari Dillard is a junior and he's already secured an internship with the help of Jennifer Gilbert the Career Academy Coordinator. I was able to gain an internship as a cybersecurity intern at Software Engineering Services. It's a fully remote virtual um, internship and we actually learned the basics of cybersecurity. We are able to apply the logistics and principles of cybersecurity to how software engineers use it in their daily life. And when it's time for Jakari to graduate, he'll be full steam ahead of some of his peers. For more information about Ramsey's Academy of Engineering, visit BehamCitySchools.org. I'm Fred Davenport with BCS Media.
All right, Coach Brown, you are in your first year here at Ramsey High School. Talk about how the Lady Rams are doing this season. Uh, they're doing outstanding, and I have a high caliber group of seniors that I'm working with. Uh, we're really excited to get into some postseason play just to see uh, how we'll match up against those better teams in our um, in our area, not just our area, but in our class as well. Yeah, I learned something new today. You told me you're a teacher at Huffman, and you coach here at Ramsey. How was that for you? Uh, it was tough at first, uh, but it was, it's all about balance. It's just finding the balance between everything. Um, I have uh, an amazing team over at Huffman that's willing to work with me, make things work with me, and they've been a great help in the process. And uh, they've honestly helped me be successful here. So yeah, this is the last. This is a senior night for a lot of seniors. Talk about how they feel about this night. They're excited. I'm, I'm very proud of them. They're they're just really excited to play tonight. Um, with this being one of their last time playing, last time playing in this gym, because a lot of them have been a part of a, a part of the program for four years now. They've been a part of the program since their freshman year. So this is a big night for them, and I'm just I'm over. I'm just very proud of them. All right, thank you, Coach. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Robert, that was your Ramsey coach getting it set up for what seems like an exciting match. Yeah, I, I talked to Coach Brown earlier, and uh, she's really excited. A little nervous. She she admitted a little nervous with the with the lights and the cameras here, and it being senior night and and all that. She says she's a little nervous, but I told her, uh, you know, that uh, she did a great job. Obviously, winning the city championship and also um, winning the area. So. Uh, Coach Brown will be okay, and the girls will. Absolutely. Under the light seems to bring out the best in our athletes, so I think they'll be just fine, Robert. Yes. And uh, speaking of undefeated and city champions, you know Coach Story here at WJ Christian, undefeated this year. I know last year as well. Yes. Sir. Two years running, undefeated city champions in middle school. Congratulations, Coach Story. Thank you. And the Lady Chargers at WJ Christian. Exactly. Congratulations, this Coach. Thank you. It's been a great year. Um, the girls have done very well um, with volleyball at WJ Christian. Do you have a lot of uh, eighth graders on this year's team? Uh, how are yes, you looking I for have, next year? Yes, I have 12 um, eighth graders that's going to be leaving this year. Well, I have like eight seventh graders, but that's never been a problem. Come tryouts, I have about 30 girls show up. Wow, that yeah, is we, great. We were talking about that as well, Steve. She said, you know, uh, every year, you know, Eighth graders move out, seventh graders come in, then a new group from sixth grade to seventh grade. So it's almost like a continual rebuilding. And that's what makes it even more amazing, in my opinion, to go two years back-to-back -back undefeated. Absolutely it does. Um, also here at Ramsey, they have an outstanding law program. Uh, uh, Dr. Russell Walker is not able to be with us uh, right now, but uh, – they have a great thing that they've started here in the law program, and uh, uh, Fred Davenport also done a great job on the story on that, so uh, we'll go to Fred at this time. Ramsey High School student Diamond Towns is a freshman, and she already knows what she wants to do after high school. I want to become a lawyer or a judge. And she's gaining knowledge and experience right now in the Law Academy at Ramsey. Being in the law program, it really gave me like um, a new personal perspective on everything like the justice system. Those new perspectives came about during mock trials and debates. The Law Academy students are tackling serious issues surrounding police brutality and racism. Diamond says the debates often become challenging. Debating, you know, it's like... When you're debating with someone, it's like you're just going back and forth or something. And, you know, like, sometimes people will probably get offended or something if, like, you're probably coming at them the wrong way, but you're really not. You're just, you know, just going back and forth. The Law Academy has been at Ramsey for one year, and the students love it. Teacher Alexis Lilly is showing the students how to create change in this country someday. We are super excited to be able to offer our scholars the opportunity to gain experience within the law sector. We currently have our Intro to Criminal Justice class, um, bringing in our first cohort within the Law Academy. And it is very, very new, but our students are excited. Career Academy coordinator Jennifer Gilbert says, 
It's a big priority to get these students experience outside of the classroom and link the students with potential mentors. At Ramsey High School, we're very fortunate to have a huge alumni base. And within that alumni base, we have several professionals in engineering as well as in the legal profession. We have several attorneys, several judges, and so um, the vision when my principal had the idea to begin the Law Academy, it was sparked by that um, amazing alumni base. And so we are looking forward to having those alumni to come back and to support our programs, um, the Law Academy as well as the Academy of Engineering, having those individuals to serve as guest speakers um, in our classrooms. As for Diamond she says she hopes to get into Harvard University and study law. For more information about this academy, visit BHAMCitySchools.org. I'm Fred Davenport with BCS Media. Back to live action here at Ramsey High School. As the Ramsey Rams, the Lady Rams, prepare to take on the Shades Valley Mountains we see here at midcourt, the coin flip, Robert. The uh, captains assemble, the coaches, they're ready to play some ball. Yes, and uh, Steve, it is senior night, and I understand that uh, they're going to be recognizing 10, 10 seniors tonight, Steve, that Ramsey has, and they're going to be recognizing them here momentarily. They do have quite the atmosphere here at Ramsey High Gymnasium. We have pretty much a packed crowd over there. The DJ going, they are really creating a nice game time atmosphere, Robert. Yeah, apparently the DJ's got one setting on his uh, on his speaker. And what's that, Robert? Wide open. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of knew that was coming. <laughs> oh. But, yes, the parents are coming in to celebrate their athletes. The classmates are here. I see football players, football coaches here, so everybody's showing up this evening to, to cheer on these Lady Rams on senior night. And I do want to uh, brag on Coach Benjamin. Uh, met with him yesterday and today, and he's been very helpful. He's athletic director and soccer coach here at Ramsey High School. And Coach Benjamin, many of them have been friends for several years. But uh, for an interview now with one of our senior parents. That's about it. All right, uh, Mr. Cedric Sparks, Chief of Staff at the City of Birmingham. Uh, talk about this is a very big night for your daughter Deja, you and your wife. Just talk about the feelings tonight. Yeah, so it's a big night. You know, you wait four years so that you can climax with your daughter's senior year. And it's a big night for all of these girls. So they get to showcase with you all, get to showcase in front of all of their family and friends, and they get to be celebrated with a good game tonight. So we're happy for talk it. Talk about the emotions around in tonight's game. Yeah. yeah, man, she's been geeked, as the young folks say, for the last couple of days. So really, really excited for it to pinnacle tonight. Um, and we're excited at the turnout. So we just really appreciate family and friends coming out to celebrate all of these girls. Yeah. Go Rams. Go Rams. Yeah. Right. Um, we're just really proud to be able to showcase Birmingham City Schools. A lot of times our young people are in the news for things that are not so good, but this is a great showcase of something positive. So thanks for everybody for watching and keep encouraging our young people. All right, thank you. There it is right there, hearing from uh, the Sparks family. Certainly proud of their young lady and they represent all the other parents who I know are very excited as their children get to this benchmark in their careers. And I'll add this, no more dynamic speaker. And, and Brother Sparks, I Absolutely. Uh, he's, a, he's a strong community man, uh, a good man of Alpha Phi Alpha, and we certainly know Brother Sparks very well, and he yeah. is outstanding in what he does. Yes, sir. I, I've heard him speak a few times, and uh, if he don't get you fired up, I, I just think you would. <laughs> sounds, sounds like they maybe should have enlisted him for the pregame speech. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, Robert, tell us about a couple. I think you got notes on a couple impact players that we're going to keep our eye on tonight. Yeah, Coach Brown mentioned uh, number three, uh, Jalen Perkins, and number 11, uh, Julia Lewis. Both uh, have scholarship offers in volleyball, and she said, you know, all 10 of her seniors are, are great, but uh, those two are kind of stepped up and been team leaders, and uh, she expects that again tonight as well. And uh, uh, Coach... Uh, you, you, Coach Story, you making uh, throw in a little bit of, of, of what? What? Tip. I know they're warming up right now, but are are they going through like specific plays and stuff right now? Yes, they're working with the setters and the hitters. 
um, and when it comes to setting and hitting, it's a lot of work so that you are able to put a ball high, low, whatever your hitter needs in order to be successful in making it and completing it, uh, putting that ball down. So, so the center or, or is almost as, imp or is as the, important, if not more important, than, than, than the, the hitter. hitter. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, Robert, when we did our game, uh, Mortimer Jordan, I believe it was, versus Moody, Jack but, Moody versus Jackson Olin. That was very critical because uh, rarely did J.O. get an in in opportunity to be aggressive, Coach, because they were always on the defense because they were lacking the skill of a setter to put their strikers in a good position. Exactly. If that with, uh, setter can use a bad pass sometimes, but that setter and that hitter has got to be on one accord to make that work. If she's, if she's, if she's setting that um, hitter too low, She's not going to like it, so she's going to end up passing it instead of putting it down. Now, another big aspect of a successful, uh, another, I would say, characteristic of a successful volleyball team is having players that can dig those balls out. How critical is somebody that doesn't mind getting those knee burns and digging that ball out? It's very critical because you'll have people who have great hitters, and if you don't have a good digger to pull that ball up off that floor using that hand or that fist to get that ball up, you lost the point. Absolutely. Well, we're getting ready for our first serve, 40 seconds and counting, Robert, until we get BCS Under the Lights Volleyball Edition underway for this week. And uh, it's exciting here, uh, you know, being senior night, uh, you know, I can remember being in school, you want to go out, especially on your senior night with a win. I mean, that's something you can tell about, you know, like me 40-something years later. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve, how special is it to you to come back? Because was this the gym that, that, that was here when you were here, I'm sure? Absolutely. This is the gym, Robert. Uh, I would sit right up here mid-court and lead some of the loudest, craziest jeering from the stands. <laughs> <laughs> that probably would get me put out this day. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're very political correct now. But, uh, yeah, we used to have a lot of fun, man, leading the pep squad, uh, really cheering on our ladies uh, here at Ramsey High School. It really was a great time. Like I said, it was really all we had in the fall because we didn't have football. I just figured something out. That five minutes was for Shade Valley to warm up now. Ramsey will have five minutes, so – we're still about nine minutes away from the first serve. But, uh, you know, there, you know, we talk about basketball and football and all this, but I guarantee you, there's, I can look out here on both sides. There's some athletes out there. there Absolutely. Young ladies that are athletes. Yes. Um, volleyball is becoming um, our most of the number one sport now for young ladies. Um, I'm amazed to see. I, I, I watch volleyball weekends. I mean, it, it, it's becoming really great. Well, your, your, your background also is softball. So, <laughs> you know, softball is, 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 is a big sport as well. So, yes. Yeah, and then we're planning on doing uh, baseball and softball in the spring. So, Coach, as I look around, I see at least one athlete that we share, uh, one of my former basketball players when I was principal and coach at Brown Elementary, Nayla Wesley, number 21 for Ramsey, I believe played for you at WJ. Yes, she did. Uh, Nayla came in her eighth grade year and just took off. Yeah, Nayla is phenomenal. Uh, she was our, she was, she was one of my top players in basketball and certainly recognized her ability to be a well-rounded athlete. And it's great to see her on the volleyball court. In fact, I saw she and her father after the Ramsey uh, went on the game, Robert, last week. That's right. And, and Steve, you were talking about the crowd earlier. I mean, uh, it's almost standing room only in here, and uh, this is a great atmosphere for these young ladies. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to see people supporting young ladies. I will say uh, we, we, be, we bleed blue on the south side, Robert, so we're going to show up. <laughs> Well, let's talk a little bit about our game coming up uh, Thursday nights, the BCS Under the Lights. There you go. It'll be uh, Mountain Brook at Parker uh, this coming Thursday night. Uh, Pre-game starts at 6.30. Kickoff is at 7. And uh, 
a big uh, Class 6A area, I mean, uh, Region 5 game. Huge game. We know that Mountain Brook is a strong program. Uh, been, been knocking some heads this year. Parker has had their uh, opportunities as well. Uh, certainly we got that prime time uh, running back, Khalifa Keith over there. Is he back? I don't know if he's back, is he? I'm not sure if he will be there on Thursday. We're certainly hopeful that he is. We'll be looking at that, and we'll have a report for you in the pregame. But I know the Parker faithful is hoping that he's there. And we have a couple of more weeks of the Hispanic Heritage Month, uh, September the 15th to October the 15th. And uh, we're very proud of our Hispanic population in Birmingham City Schools and all the opportunities. Absolutely. We are a school district that's inclusive of, of just, you know, everybody that comes. And we are all BCS strong, Robert. And we're certainly glad to have the diversity in our student population as well as diversity in our faculty population, Robert, because, you know, kids uh, need to see faces and people that look like them, uh, people that have some firsthand knowledge of, of what their walk has been. Yeah. And certainly we pride ourselves in being a diverse school district in Birmingham. Well, and how's the first two days of intercession going at Inglewood? Inter intercession has gone well. Uh, yeah. We have probably about... I think 55 to 60 kids as of today. And generally with intercession, they'll kind of continue to trickle in. So uh, hopefully those numbers will, will cap off tomorrow because we only have one week. But we're certainly getting it in and doing as much as we can with those young people who came on in to uh, study with us for this week. I feel like I need a hel helmet or a shield or something in here with all these balls flying. Hey, they got that jumpy. That's right, man, and we're close. Uh, well, and we got to get used to it, Robert, because as you mentioned, football will be rolling into basketball later this yeah, month, early yeah. next month. And, man, we really have some exciting basketball to cover in the Birmingham City Schools. Well, traditionally, Birmingham City Schools, I mean, what can you say? Probably as strong in basketball as any sport. Absolutely. Absolutely, Robert. And we're going to have uh, front row seats. I can't wait. Yeah, pro pro I would say, would you say more basketball championships in basketball than than, than any other sport combined. I, I agree, Robert, because, you know, one of the things that I mentioned, what I've learned after studying for the football programs, we really don't have a football program that has a traditional winning record. Not one has a winning record over time. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Didn't we realize that. Yeah, that's correct. Now, in modern history, Ramsey is right there within uh, the, the re rejuvenation right. of the program under Coach Nelson and now under Coach Jackson. But, yeah, here we are now, though, for volleyball action coming to you from Ramsey High School, the Ramsey Lady Rams hosting the Shades Valley Lady Mountains. I'm Steve Brown with Robert Bradford and our special expert analyst, Coach Story. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but okay. <laughs> yes, you are, Deborah Story. You are our expert analyst. Hey, uh, Steve, she told me before we went on uh, – She's the man, I'm nervous. <laughs> and that's a part of it. And Coach, anytime you uh, have championship rings, that makes you an expert. Yes, sir. Okay. I agree. I agree. And especially going back-to-back -back undefeated season. So she hasn't lost a, a volleyball match in over two, two years. years so. Two years. Absolutely. Well, the teams Thanks. have done their pregame cheers, Robert. They're hulling up. And they're getting ready to, to get that ball in there, buddy. Isn't this a great atmosphere? It really man. is, it really man. Is. Kudos to the Ramsey High School family for really putting it together for their athletes. I thought they were going to do senior night recognitions before, but apparently that's going to be either during or after now. They got a uh, Shades Valley lineup right here, Steve. Very good. So. Spirits are high. The teams are pumped. And we're ready to go. This is BCS Under the Lights Volleyball Edition. Robert, as always, Fred did a great job with our up close and personal stories, highlighting academic aspects within the Birmingham City Schools. You're going to hear more about some of the programs that's going on and certainly they're designed so that these athletes right here can take advantage. You know, what a team that uh, under the leadership of Dr. Sullivan and, and Cheryl Stewart, that BCS media team, 
what a team that uh, we've assembled here. And uh, I'm just honored to be a little small part of it, Steve. Absolutely, Robert. Absolutely. But uh, Fred does a great job spotlighting our scholars, not just our athletes, but our scholars. And That's right. Robert, as, as you mentioned from warm-up, some good-looking athletes out here on this court. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing some action. Here we go. All righty. Here's our first serve by number 13, Kendall Wright for Shades Valley. Get it across in a spike. Oh, good spike yes. for Alyssa, the Mountains. Alyssa Butts with that spike. And uh, I think it kind of hit it back over too quick. They didn't get the set up, did they, Coach? That's right. They didn't yeah, am I, am I learning? You, you're learning. <laughs> yeah, they left <laughs> it hanging, they, they man. Left. And she didn't waste time sending it back. Okay, we got a set here. Deep set, and Ramsey gets it in play. Set for the Mounties. Block. Save. Nice save there. Nice touch play. Oh, goodness. Good nice night. dig by the Rams. Point for the Mounties. Butts again with the, uh, with the hit. And now they are up 2 to nothing, Shades Valley. And they continue to serve with number 13, Kendall Wright. Nice serve. Here they go. A nice touch. Oh, nice touch by number 12 for the Mountains, Nadia, Nadia Thomas. Thomas. Yes. Yeah. Now, one of the things I'm not noticing, Coach Story, is that while Ramsey is setting it, they're not getting sets close to the net in good position. Correct. Correct. Oh, point Everybody. for Ramsey into the net by number 12, Nadia Thomas. So it's three to one now, Shades Valley. Take the Valley. point away from Shades Valley. Give it to Ramsey into the net. Was, so it's three to one, Ramsey. That was a great break for uh, Ramsey right there. Oh, oh out of bounds. Good decision three. by Shades Valley. She almost went for that one. Okay. Yeah, now I, got a, I, I noticed the, the, the officials are doing the hands up signal. What does that mean? That coach? means the ball is out of bounds. Okay. Ball in. An ace. That makes yep. the score five to one in favor of the Lady Mounties. Five to one after the uh, the ace by number fourteen. Uh, it's actually number four, Ashley Number four, Pete. yeah, I was going to say. I don't, uh, uh, nice dig. Yeah. And Ramsey into the net. Six to one, Shades Valley. I wonder if Ashley's related to our old uh, Birmingham City football coach, uh, William Pete. That's a, 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 a unique play. name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ramsey gets a set. Oh, nice job with the little far away from the net again, Coach. I think if she had been a little closer, yeah. she could have gotten exactly. some down with her on that on that spot. Exactly. They're having some type of communication as far as getting things nice together right now. That was a great jump, though, by number three, Jay Perkins for Ramsey. She, she looks like a good athlete, man. She got up off the ground. 72 now, Shades Valley. Nice serve. On the line, that puts Shades on the defensive. Oh, and they just just overhands one in there, Robert. Pretty smooth and easy on that one. She hit it where nobody else would. Makes the score eight to two in favor of the Lady Mounties. I uh, think Ramsey may have a little bit of nerves or something. Spears to me, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think so. And some little bit of miscommunication. It's their night. Oh, yeah, you know. uh, oh what a dig, though. Uh, they called the point there for Ramsey. Jaden Perkins getting up, knocking it down. I wonder if she plays basketball. <laughs> These two, if she doesn't. Woo. But it's very difficult to play basketball and volleyball, isn't it, Coach? Well, actually, it's a big help. Because well, they're, well, they're, the they're good at jumping. 
Oh! Point Ramsey. Eight now, to four is our score. They're getting settled down, getting back in it. Yes, sir. Number five, Lip, tr lip Trot with the serve. Wow, nice action. There she goes. Oh, oh yes. Jaden Perkins. Now we see why uh, some colleges are looking at her. She's, she's coming to life now, yes, eight to sir. five. Long on that one. Now, nine to five. And I know this official's doing what that, would be traveling in basketball. <laughs> yeah, that's substitution. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, nice, nice block. block. Nice block by the Mountie. Jasmine Terry, number one. Ten the block. to five is our score. Gotta get it across, and it's and out of the deep. point for the round. And point and for Ramsey. Number 14, Derricka Allen, knocking it down. Nice block by Shea Valley. Nice save by the Rams, and they get it back across. What a volley going back and forth between the teams. Another great dig for the Rams. Point to the Mounties. That one went outside the net, Robert, not across. Oh, okay. Out of bounds, Ramsey again. 11 to eight now, Sage Valley and the Ramsey's cutting, cutting in the lead slowly but surely. They are making a game of it, Robert. Nice serve. Yeah. Something going on with the substitution here. Ramsey got it together. Oh, they had the wrong player on the court. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Eight now. Sage Valley. That was interesting, Coach. Do you have illegal participation in volleyball? 15-yard <laughs> 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 penalty. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe a technical foul, two shots. Yeah. Nice shot by Sage Valley. Could not dig it out by Ramsey. Now 13 to 8. Nice touch, yeah. play gets it in for the Rams. Deja Sparks. Makes it 13 to nine there. Coach, if you see you observe something that me and Steve don't, you jump right in there. I, I will. <laughs> I love that finesse play, Robert. That, oh, that's, that's one beautiful. of my favorites. Yes. Out of bounds. Oh, oh yeah. inbound. Inbound. Inbounds, okay, I thought it was out. Makes the score 14 to 9 in favor of our visiting Lady Mounties. Yeah. 
Nice back and forth between the teams. Oh, good wow, dig dude. there by the Rams. Touch back. Oh, my goodness. What good play here. Set up here. Back set. Oh, into the net. Point yeah. for Chase Valley. And with a lot of teams, it's difficult when you're trying to um, hit a ball from center, what we call the center. 15 to 9 is your score. Out. Out point for the Rams. 15 to 10. Julia Lewis with the serve. Oh, point for the Rams. They were trying to set up something big there. Now number 12, uh, Thomas just uh, mishit it, I think. 15 to 11. The Rams have come as close as three. They're at four right now. Uh-oh. Hit the top of the gym, so I guess that's out of bounds. Is that it, is it's out of bounds. Actually, you can play it off your side if it hits the rafter. If oh, the one okay. of the other players had to watch the fall and got it over, it'll be okay. Good defense. Whoa, what a kid. Oh, my goodness. That's how we like to see him go Man, for it, Robert. That was hustle right there. Yes, hustle, it was. Hustle. Didn't get a point, but it certainly got our attention. 16 to 12 is your score. Set up. Oh, she got up and she knocked that one down, Robert. Absolutely. Terry. Yes. Got a timeout. 17 to 12 is the score. And we got a timeout. Yes, I went to see them about a month or so ago play and these two teams and Chase Valley is looking good than what went before when we watched this game. Well, and, yeah. and I think this was a very timely timeout because uh, I don't know what score you probably don't have to worry about a whole lot, but being behind by five with only what, eight points to go for the for, for Chase Valley, I think it was very important to call timeout. Yes, most coaches wait until about that five point margin and call for a timeout. But like I always tell my girls, it ain't no for twist, says 25. There it is. Now, both teams have great service, and I yes. haven't seen either team with what we may call a dominant server at this point. Right. right. We know that can change the course of a game quickly. Very quickly. And I would think, Coach, at this point, you've rotated through all of your your service at this point, so we would have seen uh, someone that could really bring it. Exactly. Yeah. That is Miss Perkins That's knocking it down. Yeah. Point for Ramsey. She's amazing. She makes the hair stands up on the back of my neck. She's great. <laughs> Jaden. Perkin. Now 17-13, Shades Valley. Okay, the officials talking to both girls about something. Not sure what the instructions were, but they talked to both teams. Oh, nice beautiful low serve. Serve. Oh, but they kept it alive. Wow. What a play. That hit the wire, but it was unnoticed. That actually hit the wire, and it was unnoticed. You still see yes. the wire moving. Yes. Point goes to Shays Valley, however. No, it goes to Ramsey still. Ball don't lie, Robert. Karma. 17-14, <laughs> Ramsey's making a comeback. Very important point here. Oh, off what the net. She dug it up. Wow. 
some great play going back and forth here. Perkins, Perkins. once again. Jay Perkins. Do it, girl. Close as this being. Yes, that was Tom. Yes, that was Tom putting it down the line. Number five with a great uh, save there a while ago. Lip trot. So oh, no. oh, 18 15. Big break there for the Lady Mounties. Mm. Head it down to two. Oh, oh hey, back to give back. it back to the Lady Rams. And I want to ask you in a minute when we get time, the different color jerseys, one on each side. Nice oh, block. Oh, yes. And it's in for the Rams. Great play there by number 14, Erd. Now, 18-17, this is the closest we've been. Yes. Oh, great. Oh, out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Coach, explain the different color. Uh, Shade Valley has one in pink. Ramsey has one in black. What, what, what's that? Those are the, Le uh, the Libros. And what they do, uh, they're the defense. Oh, right so they, pay, they play defense. Oh, okay. That's, those are the ones you put out there to dig that ball out of back row. She's supposed to be able to move across that floor and pick up the balls across the floor. All righty, point for Ramsey now, 19 to 18. We can tie it up right here, folks. Oh, point tied. for Ramsey. They have come back and tied it up. They were 19, down by as many 19. as seven or eight. That's right. 19-19. Perkins sets up to serve the flag official signaling to the crowd. Rams are trying to get a lead here for the first time, no. Oh, wow, great block. 20 to 19, Shades Valley, and this is getting crunch time, y'all. Oh, uh, we got set up here, and it digs it out. And it's into the net. Tie game. At 20. Substitutions for both teams. You got to get it across. And they do. Here we go. Opportunity to set him up for a nice one. And it's defended well. Touch play defended by the Rams. And uh, she went into the net. net. First to net. She Ramsey the with net. the first lead of the night, 21 to 20. What better time to be ahead? Yes. Nice low serve for the Rams by the and another point. Now yeah. we're on a timeout. I'm out. Valley. Ramsey with the lead, 22 to 20. After fighting their way back into this one, Robert, they have a lead. Yes, yes. It seems like they've got their nerves settled down, and now they've got uh, Shades Valley on their heels. They can just close this one out. This will be a great comeback for game one of this match. And that oftentimes yeah. goes to carry over into the second match, does yeah, it not? Absolutely. It carries that momentum on over. Um, like I said, it's not over with until the clock says 25. You play. And it's best two out of three. Is that correct? Um, no, with varsity, they do three out of five. It is three out of five? I don't know if they've changed anything tonight, but it's, it's three out of five. Oh. oh, got in there for the Rams. 
Now notice that substitution when the one with a different color jersey. She, she can have... go in and out. She okay. doesn't have to check in. They have. What a save there. Wow. Long, long. Yeah. Ties it up at 22. And they got to win by two, correct, Coach? Just one. If they, defer, if they make it to 25, unless they, get, unless they tie at 24, then they have to win by two. Nice touch. Ball out. Ball was out. We're calling ball out, but I thought Point to Ramsey. 23-22, Ramsey. Wow, this is exciting, y'all. Ah, what a serve that yes, time. And now here we are at match point. Yes, match point. Game point. point. Game, game point. point. Yeah, game, game point. Yeah. 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 Timeout. Sage Valley, I guess. Yes. How many timeouts do, do you get per match? It's like four. Four. Robert, we're going to have to enroll you in volleyball one-on-one -on -one here. Volleyball for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure there's a, I'm sure there's a book or a video. Well, Ramsey gets ready to serve for the game point. Amaya Hurd behind the line. The lefty gets oh, oh, into oh. the net. 24-23. Mounties prepare to serve now. Running serve, over wide, she gets it back into play and they get it over. Set up here for a big one, that is dug out. Ramsey flips it back in, set up for a big one. Oh, what a dig, uh. point to Shays Valley. Did not get it up. Take it bounced and she hit it. Tied at 24, so now we win by two. Got to win by two now. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, what an athletic play by 12 for Shays Valley. Yes, he's trying to put that ball in the hole. Sets her up. What a block! Oh! Ramsey! Number 10, Thillman. What a play right there. 25 24, Ramsey. Again, set point once again for Ramsey. Yes. Wow, what a comeback, y'all. Now you see why I say it ain't over to you. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> what Gotta a play comeback. it through. Gotta, Gotta play, it play it through. Well, in the last couple of years, Coach, how far have you ever been? Your teams have been behind and come back to win, obviously, if you're undefeated. Right. Um, oh, even with this time, we had to do that with um, Phillips. Um, they are really our rival, so... Um, and it happens, and we fought back. Fought back. Come. Fight back. And have you lost a game during those two years? No. No, wow. <laughs> wow, that's strong. No. That's even stronger, Steve. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, we do appreciate you, Coach Story, uh, coming you. and, and uh, putting up with me and my partner, Steve. <laughs> game one in the books. Ramsey up 1-0, two minutes, 17 seconds in our mid-game break. So we get ready for game two. Coach, uh, when we were covering our game last week with uh, Edwina Anthony Arnold, I don't know if you saw our broadcast. She's a Ramsey graduate, uh, played at Mississippi State, 
uh, went on to play for the U.S. Army, made the all-Army team. And, and she was talking about how on the front line you've got to be able to read you got to be able to read your, your playoff. But right now we're going to go to the Ramsey coach with a quick interview. All right, Coach, talk about how intense this game is. Well, <laughs> well it was too close for comfort. Um, I'm proud of the girls for fighting back, but I think um, it was a lot of nerves at first. Uh, now that we got those out the way, I think we should be good. All right, talk about improvements. What should you want the team do to win? We, uh, we really need to minimize our attacking errors and be a little bit more strategic strategic as far as our hitting shots. So uh, picking specific spots on the court and using those to score. I think they were, yes. I think they were. they gotten over it now, so we should be good. <laughs> Thank you. I was asking about how players have to read their opponents. Can you elaborate on that for us a little yes, bit? Yes, especially on front row, you have to be able to read the opponent and you have to be able to see and watch their eyes. They're going to tell you where they're going to put that ball. Whether they're going cross court, down court, or just what we call tip it. So you have to be a mindful and I always tell the girls, eyes on the ball. Don't take your eyes off the ball. Well, and, and Steve, uh, you know, one of, one of my favorite, and I think yours too, and I love the, the hard spikes, but yes. the little finesse touch just over the net when they jump it up to block it and you just kind of touch it. And the, 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 I mean, that's just natural instincts from the players, correct? Or do you correct. ever call a play like that? Oh, yes, we do that all, all the time because most of the people on the front row, they're waiting on you to hit the ball. You tip it fine, you're opening back rows too far, tip it, put it in the hole. So it is called by the coach then sometimes? Yes. Okay, cool. See, learn, learning more and more, Steve. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> coach him up, Coach Story. <laughs> hey, some things it's impossible, Coach. I mean, going undefeated two years in a row, but coaching Robert up in volleyball may be an impossible task. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting ready for game number two here. First serve, Ramsey up 1-0 on senior night at Erskine Ramsey High School on the south side of Birmingham on the city's southern border stands the school we love, Robert. <laughs> yeah, Ramsey High School. Another thing I've noticed, Coach Story, is that on most of our volleyball teams, your substitution patterns are pretty free. Most of your girls seem to play on just about every team that we've seen. Exactly. Um, because you have that uh, freedom with substitution, um, with pulling girls in and out, it, it gives every girl opportunity to play. Well, here we go, getting it started for Ramsey. Julia Lewis. Nice strong serve, set up. Nice block by Nayla Wesley. Again, she gets up and is out of bounds. Point Ramsey. Good defense there by the sophomore, Nayla Wesley. Well, I noticed uh, Thomas, number 12, for the Mounties. They really try to go to her. But uh, yeah. As on the line. Yeah. What did he call? He out. called out. Out of bounds. 1-1. One, one. It seems to me like number 12 for the uh, Shades Valley is their best hitter. Yep. 1-1 one, one is the score. Perkins! Oh. Perkins knocking it down for the Rams. She has had some some beautiful <laughs> spikes, I guess you'd call Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Wesley on the serve is a little oh. long. Two to two is our score. Nice dig by Wesley. Yeah. Point Ramsey. Number 14, Hurd. Amaya Hurd coming off of this corner over here with that left-handed knockdown, Robert. Yeah, it looked a little out of control when she hit it, but it was perfect. It did. Yes. It, it talked, well, caught right the top in. of that net. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Sparks on the serve. Setting it up. Nice. Oh, good block, but a good <laughs> dig by Perkins. And gotten over there. Setting it up. Oh, what a play by the Lady Rams. Great defense on display. And oh, Perkins oh, throws oh, it down. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Do your thing, young lady. Yes. I She's just, amazing. I'll just tell you all this. If I was on the other side and I seen her coming jumping, I'd just run. <laughs> <laughs> Four to two by the Rams. Nice Into block. the net. Number Point for Ramsey. 13, Ashlyn Adams. Yeah, I'd be looking for cover, taking cover, <laughs> incoming. Yes. Ashlyn Adams is one from W.J. Christian. Great kid. Nice serve. Ah, Didn't over the net. net. Yeah. It wasn't going to go over. Okay. They should have let that one go. Yeah. That's all right being aggressive, though, ladies. Be aggressive. Five yeah. to three is the score. Nadia Thomas serving for the Mounties. Oh. Ah, oh, she got on that net, I thought, Robert. However, they give the point to the Mounties just the same. Five to four is the score. Oh, Perkins gets it. They get it back to her. What a play. Rams with the point. I thought I was going to have to make a play on that one. <laughs> Coach, I was ready. You ready? <laughs> Six to four. Perkins serving for the Rams. Good, strong serve. And it goes out of bounds. Off the carom of the defender. Point Ramsey. Seven to four. Ooh, nice. Nice. Nice play there by number one, Jasmine Terry. She's made a few spikes herself tonight. Yeah, she knocked that one down pretty strong. Seven to five is the score. Ramsey with the lead. Nice strong serve there by Alyssa Butts. And a good comeback by the Rams for the point. And I uh, noticed that uh, they have pulled out number 12. Uh, Thomas for Shade Valley to give her a little bit of a, a breather, get her some water. Serving for the Rams, number two, Antonia Henderson. Nice strong serve by Henderson. Terry gets it down, but a great dig by the Rams. And a it's remarkable over. play Dang. by Wesley. Point Ramsey. Nine, Nine to, five. to five is the score. Rams in the lead. Oh, that's hit number four. Yeah. Miscommunication. Point Ramsey. Yeah, they got a little confused. Yeah, they, they got coach. confused. Yes. Time out by the Mounties. A little frustration over there. But one thing I will say, Coach, that I like about these girls, and, and, and I hope some of my England girls are listening, they would get so frustrated when they would miss sometimes and make a bad play. They would take themselves out of the game. And I like seeing the way that these girls are playing with composure. They're taking the good with the bad. They're not getting too high. They're not getting too low. Exactly. Um, and that's what happens when you have the players who, they're passionate about it. But if you um, make a bad play, we always tell them that's the end of that. That ball's dead. Let's move on. And because when you get down on yourself, you take yourself out the game and you got, other, you got five other people depending on you on that floor. Absolutely. And that's how you learn looking at uh, people that have a little more experience. Uh, and, and, and you can gain a lot. And so we hope some of our young players are watching BCS under the lights, not only our volleyball, but football, and all of our sports, so they can get better. Yes. All right, here we go. Uh, Miss Henderson, ready to serve. And it is a good serve. Point Ramsey. 
Eleven to five, Robert. Well, and I was just looking here uh, on on the internet. Shades Valley is six A area eleven, you know, and Advance is five A. So uh, this this be a big win when you play a class up and win. That's great. Absolutely. Yes. Gonna take a huge play here off the top of the net. Oh, no communication there with the Rams, and they let that one drop. The score is eleven to six. Shays Valley with the service, Ramsey with the lead. Wesley knocking it yeah. down. Nayla Wesley. 12 6. Okay. Right, the ball was going out of bounds, but she stuck her hand out, so it tips off her hand. Thank you, Coach. She's going to have me knowing some of it in a little while, Steve. Yeah, Robert, we're going to get you. Oh, oh bad, bad serve, serve right there. You, you didn't know that. That's off the ball. You didn't know that, did you, Steve? <laughs> what that meant. I, I knew it was tilt, Robert. I knew that meant tilt. That's, that's a universal sign right there. <laughs> oh, good effort. Couldn't get it. 12 8 now is the score. Sparks getting it over, knocked back. Wesley with the block. Nice touch, saved again by Shays Valley. Touch, set up. Wesley yeah. drops it in. Yeah, it in. Wesley. Yeah. Thirteen to eight. Ramsey with the lead. Now serving number 11, Lewis. Nice low serve. Getting back over by Shays Valley. Perkins with the touch. Yeah, yeah, they were expecting her to yeah. really hammer it. Right, they did. They were expecting her to really put it down. Instead, she just pushed it softly because now. Oh, over the touch of the net. Service goes over to Shays Valley. No. No, it's Ramsey's ball. It ah. fell over the net. Oh, it fell over, so we get a, a, a reserve. Yes, it can, it can touch the net, and it fell over. 15 to 8. Good strong throw down. Good strong one by number four, Ashley Peak for the Mounties. Now, Coach, one of the things I've noticed is that team set up differently to receive the serve. What's the philosophy behind how you set up? Well, when they're, when they're in serve and receive. So it means they're going to receive the ball, so they spread out amongst the floor. They're waiting on their team to pass the ball. So you don't want to be in, Yes. So you don't want to be in your server's view. Sixteen to nine for the Rams. Setting it up here. Oh, what a dig. What a save. And they get it back over. Great play by Ramsey. Butts has it blocked. They get it back up. Good volleyball right here. Perkins. Point Ramsey. Wow. wow. What great volleyball play we have going on here this evening. 17 to 9, Ramsey. Nice serve by Wesley, setting up the mountains here. Touch, but they were ready for it. Perkins. Yep, she did it again, Robert. 18 Ooh. to 9. Wesley has the Rams on a run. Nice serve again. Point, Ramsey. Nineteen to nine. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I think it's an insurmountable lead, y'all. I think Ramsey's gonna take this game. All right. 
peak. Defended well. Perkins gets it over. Peak touch. Oh, deep. Out. Out. Yeah. Too far out. She would have been a great play. She's the center, so they wouldn't expect her to push it there. 19 to 10 is the score. Ramsey with the lead. Opening jinx, Randy. <laughs> now 19 to 11. Couple of points in a row by Shades Valley. Yes. Ebb and flow, ebb and flow, isn't it? Point, Ramsey. Perkins. Twenty to eleven. Ramsey only five points away Wait. from the win. Yes, sir. Biggest lead of the night. Sparks with the running serve into the net. Yeah, twenty to twelve. I got one for you in a second, coach. Strong serve, defended well. Perkins sets it up for somebody. They, they get it over. That was Ashton Adams and the point, Ramsey. 21 to 12 is your scoring game number two. So there's six on each side. What would happen if one team had seven and, and they were playing? And what happens if, like, you know, you have too many players on the, on the court? There's Point Ramsey. On the floor as well. There's only six spots on the floor where you a person would well, be going mean, nowhere. Some kind of penalty, though. You don't have penalties, penalties in volleyball, so Robert. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, what I mean, what I mean, though, is, is, is it like automatically a point for the other team? Um, Great defense by Ramsey. Most the only thing that can happen, Robert, is when they can get out of rotation. Oh, got one down. So if you get out of rotation, you can lose the point and lose the ball. But you're not going to find where you're going to find seven girls on the floor. 22 to 13 is our score. You know, if I was coaching, I might try that. Uh, <laughs> try to get a little bit of advantage. Oh, it goes short point. Shays Valley. Got to get every advantage you can. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, you're going to mess around and lose your coaching license. <laughs> <laughs> Out of bounds. 23 to 14 is the score. Rams are two points away from victory. Is Shades Valley and, and, and Ramsey a rivalry or not, not so much? Uh, you're asking me as an alum, yeah. I would say no, we don't no. consider them a rival. Okay. However, I will say in recent years, though, uh, with, with the IB program at both schools, you do have a lot of kids actually from Birmingham going to Shades Valley. Uh, so I would say they may be more of a rival than in years past. Yeah. Great play there by Shades Valley to get the point, 23 to 15. Twenty-three to sixteen. Rams are still with the lead. Nice back and forth here. Good high one and nice play. Perfect for Wesley to throw it down. 24 to 16. Ramsey Needing on one. the cusp of a win. Needing one.
Kelsey, lip trot with the serve. Oh, oh and it gets yeah. in. Twenty-four to seventeen is your score from Ramsey High School, BCS under the lights, volleyball edition, game number two. Ramsey up with one game under their belt. Twenty-four to eighteen is your score. Mountains trying to stay alive here. Nice block, Nayla. You have the same. Block, <laughs> Nayla. Nayla is the main. Yes. She is. And I think she's, that might be it. Yeah, she just came and got her. Uh, yes, they only doing two sets tonight. Yeah. That's it. Two out of three have gone to the mighty Rams. And they are victorious, Robert. Hey, I mean, uh, just wow. Uh, after the slow start, uh, Coach, they came back and uh, settled down and really yeah. just took, took took control. Yeah, well, you can imagine they're yeah. under the lights tonight, and not only that, it's their senior night. So you know they're nervous. They want to win this game. It's senior night. Okay, three-minute break here yeah, we before are we go into yeah. game number three. Everybody's regrouping. Well, Coach Storm, what do you tell your squad down 0 to 0 and 2? And then what do you tell them up 2 and 0? You keep playing. Both you ways, huh? You keep playing. You don't give up. You keep playing. Because now, guess what? This other team is hungry. Absolutely. They're hungry. You they know, know they still have three sets to go. So they're hungry. So don't sleep on them. Nope. You know, some things uh, are true throughout coaching. And I think uh, one of them is what you just said. You got to play. You can't take anybody lightly. Well, it's a great, great atmosphere here at Ramsey High School on senior night. Uh, I just... Uh, Rowdy, getting to be a rowdy crowd, too. Getting to be real rowdy over on the other side. <laughs> yeah. The Rams are continuing a tradition of, of, of rowdy but politically correct fans getting it up for their classmates. And that's a good thing. Senior night, 58 seconds remaining. So does it go back to uh, Shades Valley with this serve, I guess, then, right? Yes. Okay. Alternating after the opening yes. coin toss. Yeah, we got Coach uh, Coach Peak sitting over there. I thought there was Coach Peak sitting on the other side. We're going to see if Fred get a word with him maybe later before we get out of here. I always want to recognize some of our leaders who've done a great job in the district. A, le a legend. Absolutely. Just Let's just go ahead and say it. He's a legend. Um, Devin, we kind of run this one on the fly. I, I think when Fred is ready, take it to him. There he is right now with a good shot. A Coach Peak sitting there. Legend. Birmingham City Schools, former football coach. Uh, that might be his granddaughter out there. I know Coach Peak uh, does some work is. here at Ramsey. Great to see you, Coach. Looking good over there, baby. Well, we get ready now for our next game, game number three. Rams want to try to make it a straight sweep and get on to their senior night activities. Mountains have something different to say, I'm sure. And here we go. Game number three from Ramsey High School. Nice dig by Perkins to get it started. And Sparks. They save it. Sparks again. And she gets a great shot. They save that one when they get it across. 
Yes. Sparks again. Great back and forth here. Sparks again. Oh, what a save. Athletic play by the Rams. Point to the Mounties. Miss Sparks was battling, but they could not get a point right there. Nice dig over the net. Oh, put back by Nayla Westland. Do it, Nayla. Nothing like young players coming coming into their own in the coach. Yeah. And especially with Nayla being also a basketball player, she she's gonna handle that ball. Yes, indeed. Ooh, nice. Comeback by Miss Peach for the Mounties. Coach, when, when Nayla was on my girls' basketball team, I coached both the girls and the boys. And, they, and, and actually, praise God, we won the championship, both teams that year. But Nayla, girls' team, would beat my boys' team every <laughs> scrimmage. <laughs> they really made those boys a better squad. Yeah. Point Ramsey. Off the ceiling. Just looking it up, uh, Coach Peak was a uh, head coach at Carver, mm -hmm. 25 years, 1973 to 1997. Won 97 games in 25 years. That's right. Willie Peak got to the state championship, I want to say, in 80 or 81 with an undefeated team. What a hit there. Oh, but it touched the roof. Yeah. Point for Chase Valley. That was 81. Great team that year under the leadership of Coach Willie Peak. Nice touch by Perkins. Mountains were ready. They're up with the touch. Touch back by Sparks. Thrown down. Point, Shades Valley. Four to two, Shades Valley. Number 12, Nadia Thomas serving for the Lady Mounties. Out of bounds. Four three now, Shades Valley. Out of bounds, point Ramsey. Four to four is the score. In this ever important game, number three. Ramsey up two games to Neal. Point Ramsey. The frustration there on Cage yeah. Valley. Yes, it is. First bit of frustration seen at least openly expressed Chris. tonight. Five to four. Ramsey ahead. Out. out of bounds, hitting it kind of hard over there. Yes. Now six to four, Ramsey. She's letting she's letting her know she's got getting on top of the ball. Sparks with a nice low serve. Always difficult yeah. when you're trying to hit that ball from the center, coach. You mentioned that earlier. Yes. When you got a deep set in the center, you're not in a good position. Not in a good position. Seven to four is your score, game three. Out of the rafters and into the ball, basketball goal. Seven five is your score. Nice touch, and it's long. 
Now, Coach, I just noticed something here. I was just about to say our player, Jaden Perkins, hadn't really had her presence felt yet, but she was just getting in position over here on this right front, to, uh, left front, to get some spiking going. Right. She's on, um, right now she's on back row. So now she's got to be able to get to her uh, spot, either left or right, because she's on back row. 7-7 seven, seven is the score. Shays Valley with the service. Nice left-handed knockdown. I believe that was Amaya Hurd. Perkins now ready to serve for the Rams. And she gets it in. Oh, nice cross set. Oh, she goes up, gets it blocked. Oh, uh, oh good up. effort, good effort by good the hustle. Lady Rams. There you go, ladies. Get some burns. Get down on that gym floor. 8-8, eight, eight, they're really going back and forth in this one. Shays Valley has plenty of fight remaining. Out of bounds. Number one for the Mountains has been long on a lot of her hits lately. That was uh, Jasmine Terry for the Mounties. Yes. <laughs> Block. Oh, but saved and couldn't get it over. Yeah. That's what he's held his hand up. That means the ball was lifted up. Nine, nine you is the score. Minutes, <laughs> yes. It's called a lift. Wesley. Point Ramsey. So far, this is the tightest game of this match. Both teams apparently knowing what's at stake here. Set up nicely. Touch. Peak. Out of bounds. He called it in. Called it in? Yes. Point I'll for go. Valley. 10 10 is the score. Point Ramsey. There she goes. Perkins. Perkins. Point yeah. Ramsey. Nice back and forth. Both teams playing great defense, but it looked like we had a handball. A lift. A lift on the mountains. Point. Ramsey. I knew that didn't look right. <laughs> 13 to 10. Ramsey putting a little distance here now. Into the net. Unforced errors just drives the coach crazy, doesn't it? Yes. Especially no matter the sport. And those are unforced errors there. And yeah. Oh, Perkins got up on that one. Yes. Perkins. 
14-11 is the score. Both squads making substitutions. And then watch JP spike the ball. It looks so, she makes it look so easy. Yeah, but it is so difficult. <laughs> Thirteen to twelve, Robert. No, fourteen. Fourteen to twelve. This could go right down to the wire, folks. Oh, Perkins! I tell you, between Wesley and Perkins, these Rams have some strikers, man. Woo. I think we heard the name Perkins incoming. <laughs> <laughs> nice positioning by Ramsey to defend the incoming. spike and the touch. Yes. Coming back. Oh, she didn't have to jump in. Nice back and forth. Here we go. Incoming. Oh, and they get it back. Are they going to get this one? Oh, good one. Nice back set. Oh. 15-13. What an exciting contest. What an exciting contest. Got it in there. Nice play. Yes. Amaya Hurd. 16-13. Perkins on the serve. Tipped across. Ramsey defends it. Nice tip. Tip back. Oh! 16-14. Peak now back into the game. Nice lefty, gets it across. Peak with the touch. Perkins. I believe they let yeah. that win, it'd have been out of bounds, wouldn't it? Probably so. 16 15 is the score. Tight, tight, tight. Seems like Ramsey is going over there to number 14 Hurd a lot here lately instead of over here to uh, uh, Perkins. Well, Perkins hadn't gotten back on the front yet, Robert. She's rotated to the back. So it's going to be a minute. Oh, and that oh, one gets yeah. in. Great timing for the Rams. Gives them a 17-16 lead here. Wesley back in. She's in a good position to strike. Henderson with the serve. Uh, wow. Got it in. Got it in. Wow. 17 you know, 17. That court is long, but when you're trying to hit it over that net and get it in, it looks like it's about a foot wide. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley! Blocked! Oh! Nice block by the Mounties. Now 18-17. Shades Valley with the lead. That's an end. Out of bounds! Yeah, I was looking at the red line, my yeah. bad. <laughs> I get confused on my yeah. lines back there, Steve. <laughs> Absolutely. Now 19-18. Shades Valley. Sparks back in for Ramsey. 
Nice jump serve for the Rams. Got it at the net. Peak. Ah! 20-18. to 18, The Mounties with the lead. Yeah, so we played here the other night. My girls was confused too. They were like, okay, why is it out on the black lines on the sides, but in the back it's the red line. I, black line, I'm like, I don't know. Peach. Blocked by Wesley. <laughs> 20 to 19. Saves Valley with the lead. Crunch time again, guys. Yes, it is. And Gail. That said, oh, the butts. Ramsey plays it well. Spike by Peak. Defended well. Perkins! Yes, Ties it up yes. at 20. She's probably got more points than any young lady yes, out there on either side today. Yes, sir, she does. <laughs> Nice low serve. Oh! 21-20, Shades Valley. This one has been tight all the way through. The first game was tight at the end. This one has been a nail biter from its onset. Who wants it more? I think that would be Ramsey. It's senior night. Block. Block. And it gets down. 22 to 20. Chase Valley. Perkins! 22 21. Substitutions on both sides. The Ramsey, you want to go ahead and win this one. Oh, you know, yeah. You don't want to just go to set four or whatever you want yeah. to call the game for. Ah, Rams weren't ready. 23-21, Shays Valley. Terry for Shays Valley has shown signs of uh, being really good, a good player. Yeah. And he gets it across. Nice play by Spark. Point Ramsey. 22-23. We've got a good one, Robert. Sparks with the service. Nice low serve. She sets up Terry for a hard out. out of bounds. Yes, it is. Ties it up at 23. Woo. Here we go. Sparks can take it, Rams out. Sparks can take the Rams out. Yeah. One more serve. Is this match point? Yes. 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 Yes.
Ramsey with the lead. I don't want to brag on our folks behind the scenes again, Steve. Great camera work, great uh, production work in the uh, in the behind the scenes, and we just appreciate every one of them in doing this. We appreciate you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you for inviting you me. Did. You there said, it is. You, hey, you got yeah. rid of those nerves. And you settled <laughs> down. You right into it, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because right about now, my girls will be telling me, we can see your toes bog up in your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Sparks on the service for match point. Gets it across. Terry with the touch. And Ramsey! And that is the match. And the Rams have defeated the Shays Valley Mounties three games to zero. And uh, have ended this match. And you know, all three games were a little bit different. The first game, Shays Valley got out to a big lead. Ramsey came back one second name. Ramsey just pretty much led from start to finish. And then this game was just back and forth, back and forth, tied, back and forth. So good, good matches. Outstanding game. Great officiated game by our officials. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful night here, Robert. BCS under the lights. Volleyball edition. Um, well, American News. Aaron Judd, you know, I was trying to watch college football a couple weeks ago. Right. And they kept breaking in. Aaron, Judd, Aaron Judge, well, he breaks uh, the six, uh, breaks the record of Roger Maris's for 62 home runs in the season. So there it is. The first year. Yes, my beloved sport of baseball. Congratulations to Aaron Judge. How long do you think that record will last, Robert? Well, good question, Steve. I mean, it's lasted for how many years? Uh, a little over 50, I think. Yeah, I was going to say Roger <laughs> Maris a long, long time ago, before my time. Absolutely, man. <laughs> I, I do remember the name Roger Maris when I was a kid, but, uh, you know, Aaron Judd, you know, what, what a great feat. But, man, what I a better I tell you feat. what, a name you're going to remember. You're going to remember Jane Perkins. Yep. You're going to remember Nayla Wesley, Robert. I got another nickname for her. For Perkins. Okay. Missile. 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 <laughs> Missile. Incoming. Incoming, yeah. baby. Yes, sir. Well, it is senior night here at Ramsey High School, and we're so proud of the, the athletes here. We're going to get ready to go down and interview one. Uh, looks like Fred is poised up with Miss Perkins, and uh, we're going to switch it over to uh, Fred at this time. Pressure is our senior night, and we played this team before and went to four sets, so we just were really excited to win in three. Uh, yes, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time, so just to finally be here and be a senior and just have this moment be all about us is just phenomenal. Uh, yes, sir, I want to major in engineering and go into pre-law. I'm not sure yet. Thank you. Great interview by Fred with one of our scholar athletes here at Ramsey High School. Senior night as the young ladies get ready for uh, their accolades that are well deserved, Robert and Coach Story, I am sure. Yes. Do you have any seniors on the squad? Uh, no, I don't have any seniors. Uh, got juniors, though, that'll be coming up next year. Very good. Going to pitch it over to uh, Fred once again. He's got uh, number five, Kelsey Liptrot. So, Fred, take it away. Yes, um, it was a lot. I don't think we've ever played in a gym this school. It was a lot. The noise was a lot. But I really had a lot of fun. It's my senior year. I've been waiting for this moment for four years. So, for it to finally come and for us to win it feels really good. Yes, there were a lot of emotions. There were times where I messed up purely based off emotions, and I had to kind of use my emotions for the good instead of the bad and push it myself. All right, anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Once, great job once again by Brady Davenport, and they are recognizing the seniors over across the way. Uh, you want to take it, Steve, and uh, 
Tell them, uh, tell them their names of the ones you see over there right now. Absolutely, our senior Rams and late Lady Rams got number 13, Ashlyn Adams, over there with. Uh, well, no, Ash actually, uh, Ashlyn brought out a gift for Deja Sparks, number one, and we see Antonia Henderson lining up as a senior, and we see Jaden Perkins, our senior there. What a beautiful time for the families. Uh, you know, again, one of, one of the culminating experiences uh, of your senior year. We've got Brianna Hicks coming out. What a beautiful scene. We've got one young lady who put on uh, her T-shirt. I didn't get her name. If somebody can help me out. We've got Kelsey Liptrot coming out now. Still have three more seniors here. Receiving their gifts. Receiving baskets from parents. Number 10, Ayanna Silman. Lots of seniors on this Ramsey squad. I think uh, Coach Brown told me 10. 10. 10 seniors, yes. Wow. <laughs> Julia Lewis, senior. Number 14, Amaya Hurd. And number 20, Layla Bell, the Ramsey High School Lady Rams Volleyball Seniors. Congratulations to those young ladies. And good luck the rest of the season with the uh, area tournament coming up and the uh, regionals and uh, in the state. Good luck. I know uh, they, they look like they could go deep into the playoffs. Absolutely. Certainly behind Perkins, Wesley, and these seniors that they have right here, they could do some damage when it gets to the playoffs. A night these young ladies will never forget, I'm sure. It's always great to go out with the win, Robert. You know, you can't you can't strip senior nights and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So it's a good thing that, that the Rams are going out on top. Oh, and they're presenting uh, flowers to Coach Brown as well, I believe. Or maybe Coach Brown is giving each one of the girls a flower. I'm not sure. Well, Robert, tell them about what to expect this week. We're, we're not finished with BCS under the lights for this week. We've got more coming. Yes, Thursday night right here at BCS under the lights. Mountain Brook, the Spartans will be traveling to A.H. Parker High School to, uh, gosh, I forgot the name of the stadium. Help me out. Major please. Brown Stadium. Thank you. I had, <laughs> my mind just went blank there for a minute. <laughs> Pre-game is at 6.30. And uh, kickoff is at uh, 7. And then uh, we'll be having uh, on the October the 20th, uh, Mortimer Jordan at Jackson Olin. Again, those times are 6.30 for the pregame 7 o'clock kickoff on Livestream.com, the NFHS Network. And I believe tonight, Steve, we were on YouTube for the first time. Absolutely. So. BCS Media is just expanding more platforms, uh, more ways for you to see us, and we're certainly proud to be here at Ramsey High School tonight. Yes, and uh, uh, let's mention intercession going on again. Steve, you do so well with that. Well, intercession is going on in Birmingham City Schools. This week is not too late to sign up your scholar if you would like for your scholar to get a little extra uh, uh, academic support this week. Our students are out, however, we are open. Uh, we're a 24-7 school district, 12-month school district. Uh, we have services going on around the calendar. So if you would like to register your child, visit our website, 
and you still can get three days of academic enrichment the remainder of this week. Also, this is Hispanic Heritage Month. We're certainly celebrating all the diversity in our among our students and our student body and our faculty and staff. And Robert, we're doing COVID testing. You know, kids can receive gift cards for just uh, agreeing to get weekly COVID testing in our school district because we want to make sure uh, our students as well as our workforce uh, are safe, healthy, and thanks to Dr. Sullivan, thanks to our Board of Education and our fine medical professionals uh, at UAB, we have a way to help do that. You know, Mr. Brown, while you're talking about intercession, you know that we have after school care for intercession as well. That was where I was supposed to be tonight, but I decided I'd join you guys. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> very, so glad you did, Coach. So glad you did. That's right. In a session up until 6 p.m. And, uh, Robert, I believe that wraps us up here. Well, Steve, uh, congratulations to the Ramsey Rams with their senior night victory. Congratulations to our seniors. And, uh, Coach, thanks so much Thank for you, stopping Coach. in. You, you were you. very big help, and I'm glad you settled down. I told you everything's going to be all right, and you were wonderful. And right. uh, Thank you. Steve, look forward to seeing you Thursday night at Parker. That's right, buddy. Once again, BCS Under the Lights Thursday night coming from Major Brown Stadium on the campus of Parker High School. But for right now, we're saying goodbye from Ramsey High School. This has been BCS. Under the Lights Volleyball Edition. I'm Steve Brown. That is Robert Bradford. This is Coach Story. And we are BCS Strong. And we'll see you Thursday night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Choices in Birmingham City Schools, learning academies and outstanding teachers, championship sports teams, fine arts, music, science, technology, and engineering. Go to BirminghamCitySchools.org and enroll today. Birmingham City Schools, success starts here. What's up, everybody? It's Letitia Watkins, Miss Letitia, your District 6 representative for Birmingham City School Board. District 6, home of the Ramsey Rams. So on behalf of everybody on the Hill, welcome to BCS Under the Lights. BCS Under the Lights.